Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 17th Precinct Command Post Ribbon Cutting Ceremony. To begin our ceremony, please remain standing for the National Anthem by Police Officer Jason Martinoff. Ten, uh, oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so broadly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare of bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Officer Martinoff. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the invocation by Police Department Assistant Chief Chaplain Monsignor Robert J. Romano. Hooray, red. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks as we come to dedicate this new piece of equipment for the New York City Police Department. We are grateful to our councilman for his hard work and uh, his gift to the department. We thank you for that. Uh, the only thing that I would change is that red ribbon. It should have been a blue one. <laughs> and uh, Lord, we ask you uh, to bless all the members of our department, to keep them safe on and off duty. And as we gather here today, we remember the members of our armed forces who serve us so proudly, many of whom are members of the NYPD. Watch over them and bring them home soon. Finally, Lord, we ask your blessing upon all of us who are gathered here to dedicate this mobile presence of the New York City Police Department throughout this great city. And we ask this now in your name. Amen. Thank you, Monsignor Romano. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. It's now my pleasure to introduce the members seated on our dais. Beginning on my far right, Police Department Assistant Chief Chaplain Monsignor Robert J. Romano, Commanding Officer of the 17th Precinct, Captain Aaron Edwards, Commanding Officer of the Highway District, and former Commanding Officer of the 17th Precinct, Inspector Nicole Papa Michael. City Council Member Ben Kalos, and 17th Precinct Community Council President Matt Roberts. This is our day, so we thank them for being here today. It's now my pleasure to introduce City Council Member Ben Kalos. Uh, good morning. Uh, I have never seen anything like this. This is incredibly amazing. Uh, generally, uh, I'm just incredibly impressed. I, I always have been with the 17th Precinct. I, I have four precincts in my district, and uh, I, I'm now at a point in my career where I can say the 17th has always been my favorite. Uh, from uh, it, it, They just have the best commanding officers. Uh, and so we as a city uh, have incredible challenges on fighting crime. Uh, if you paid attention during the June election or you're paying attention to the November election, it is something that residents are particularly concerned about. And as we fight crime, we need to have modern tools. And it also helps to have a good relationship and, and listen to the experts. And so uh, the 17th Precinct is incredibly amazing and I uh, was able to build a particularly strong relationship with uh, a commanding officer by the name of Papa Michael. Uh, and uh, I do a lot of things no one else in their right mind would ever do. I do house calls. Doctors don't even do house calls anymore. Try to call your doctor, they'll laugh at you. And so I do this thing called Bend in Your Building, I love alliteration, and uh, I, I was sitting in a basement of a building on 57th Street, and the commanding officer walks in for what would be a two hour meeting complaining about a single right turn in the district. And I was like, what are you doing here? Only I do this, this is crazy. And uh, she, she said, well, I figure if it's important enough for the council member, it's important enough for me 
And from then on, we just kept working on everything from helping individual homeless people to others. And so I came back, as I do with all my commanding officers, and say, what can we do to help? Council members have capital money, we have expense money, we've bought bicycles for the 17th and the 19th and the 23rd to do bike enforcement. Uh, we bought other pieces. And I think that was just around when the mobile command center that the 17th had had, which uh, I don't know if anyone's been in it, but I know there are some people who have, and it was basically an over-glorified Winnebago. Uh, with chairs and, and not much else and um, I, I was asked if we could do a uh, mobile command center and I said sure how much and so uh, we allocated uh, I think the prices were between a quarter million and seven hundred and fifty thousand so we went with uh, we weren't gonna go with the full-size big one uh, we were gonna go with the uh, medium size the smaller mobile command center and uh, we're, we're looking right at it, and uh, it, is, it is hard for me to believe that this is the medium size. I'm fearful for how big the uh, big one is, but uh, this is absolutely incredible, and, and my hope is that it will offer folks the tools they need for modern policing to keep all of us safe. Uh, we just got through UN General Assembly. Uh, not all precincts are created equal. Some precincts have more responsibilities than others. Uh, the 17th is, uh, well, fortunate enough to not only have to protect uh, the residents here, not only to that, they had to protect a president of the United States, uh, and they have to protect the heads of states and presidents of nations all over the world, and uh, they, they have to do that with the same resources as pretty much every other precinct. And now they have a new tool to help with that. Uh, I've been advised that this is its, its parking spot moving forward. <laughs> as it does get deployed. And another key piece of this is being able to bring policing into the community and, and bring things where they are. Uh, I see the TV on the outside. I really can't wait to play video games on it. Hopefully nice PS5, who knows? Uh, but I, I'm incredibly impressed and I, I can't wait to go inside and see all the cool things uh, that are in there. Uh, by the time we were able to put the funding aside, uh, commanding Officer Papa Michael was going on to, I believe, the medical examiner's office uh, as she, she moved up through the ranks now to over to highways. And uh, when the, the next commanding officer came in, I said I, I would be willing to continue to purchase this for him based on the credit and the good graces that his predecessor had earned, but um, on the caveat that she got to be here when we cut the ribbon. So um, when I met with uh, Commanding Officer Edwards, uh, I, I shared this story and asked if we could get it done. I also told him that we lost the money and we couldn't find it. And I've shared this. We've, we've invested over a million dollars in our local precincts. And uh, Commanding Officer Aaron Edwards was able to find this money, get this money spent. I will mention that I did run into Commissioner uh, Shea while we were biking the Five Borough Bike Tour. And uh, I think it was a different conversation than he was used to from council members where I just said, hey, I, where, where's my money? And I was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, there's millions of dollars for mobile command centers for the 17th precinct. Um, now that we've gotten this down, uh, we also have Argus cameras uh, that need to get installed. Uh, they, they were, we were able to get it done thanks to Captain Michael Joy, who was a, uh, a, a hallmate in college and said he would give it to me but we had to uh, be friends on Facebook so uh, now he's not he, he's retired because he made the right choice in his career I'm still going to be working for the rest of my life but he's retired from the force so we will need help getting those Argus cameras but I this is a very big deal I really want to thank everyone for being here from the Monsignor to both commanding officers uh, and uh, and also um, we're here with our precinct council uh, president and our precinct councils are so very important and the 17th precinct is one of the most professional so I probably spoke longer than I was supposed to uh, next time we will get a blue ribbon and I'm just ecstatic this is amazing thank you council member Kalos it's now my pleasure to introduce the commanding officer of the 17th precinct captain Aaron Edwards First off, uh, thank you, Councilman McHales. Um, you know, this uh, this vehicle here is going to serve as our uh, mobile workstation at, at large scale events. 
Uh, it's equipped with uh, computer equipment, secured internet, uh, surveillance cameras, um, and it allows us to really work outside the precinct uh, seamlessly. And so, you know, this is a tool that we really need. Uh, I am looking forward to the PlayStation game, uh, 2K preferably, uh, you know, so I'll challenge you to that. Yes. Uh, we, you know, really appreciate this, um, this from, from the constituents, um, from your office, um, you know, this, this just keeps us uh, going into the, you know, 2022 and beyond um, with the technology. I want to thank Matt Roberts for always showing up, our community council president. Uh, thank you, Inspector Papa Michael. You know, you started this. I'm, I'm going to take all the credit, but you, you started it. So I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, my senior Romano, uh, for showing up. Uh, that's all I have to say. But again, I just, I just want to thank you for this. This is a, a, a wonderful gift, and, and we're going to use it. We're going to use it. Thank you. Thanks, Captain Edwards. At this time, I'd like to invite our day is over for the ribbon cutting. Thank you, Monsignor Romano. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. Thank you to everyone for coming on behalf of our dais. Please have a pleasant day and a safe trip home.